Hello, my name is Nicole Rasmussen. I'm an area agronomist with DuPont Pioneer here in Southern Alberta. We're in a cornfield today where a customer had a few questions about <coughs> a little bit of uneven emergence and some dying plants. So I'm going to take some time and show you what it is we found here in this field. I've dissected this corn plant and you can see right down here near the growing point where the insect had ate through the plant. We can see the shot holes through the leaf. We can see some of the leaves have died where the insect trued right through it. The plant will survive, but once again, it will definitely be considered a runt. So here's another example of a plant that the customer saw that for a reason unknown to him was dying. As you can see, the new growth on this plant has totally wilted. Let's dig it up and see what we can find. And there's our culprit right there, as you can see. Very visible insect damage, probably right through the growing point. Killing any new growth, and this plant will not survive. So the rest of this field is nearing V5 stage, if not a little past. And as we know, the growing point comes above ground at the V6 stage. So this crop is out of the woods to see more wireworm damage. So we haven't been able to find very many wireworms actively eating in the soil. Today is June 23rd and towards the end of June the wireworms have finished this current life cycle. They've laid their eggs in the soil and we probably won't be able to find too many actively feeding wireworms. So don't be surprised if you're not seeing any worms feeding on your plants. The damage is a telltale sign that they've been here.